Hi, I'm Dustin Brown, professional hockey player. Today's pro tip is the wrist shot. The best time to use the wrist shot is when you have a little bit more time and are able to get in the open ice. First thing you want to do is you want to start with the, the grip. You don't want your stick down here because it's too hard to reach down for the puck. You want to get maybe a foot in between your uh, hands. It really is up to you. It's a personal preference. That's where I like mine. The mechanics of the shot are pretty simple. You want to start with the puck behind you, behind your back foot, right here. Now all you're going to do is you're going to make a sweeping motion towards the net. As you sweep, make a sweeping motion, all your foot's going to be on your back foot. For me, that's my right foot because I'm right-handed. As I'm sweeping, I'm transferring my power from my, or my weight from my right foot to my left foot as I'm shooting. Your legs are where all the power comes from in wrist shot, snap shot, slap shot. As you make this, the sweeping motion with your stick and transfer your weight with your hands, you're going to roll your wrist over and point towards your target. That's where you want the puck to end up going. That's a vital point uh, in doing the wrist shot because if you don't roll your puck over or your wrist over, the puck will be less accurate in your shot. I'll do one here full speed and then we'll recap the whole situation. Again, it's starting behind you. You're finishing with a sweeping motion, transferring your weight, roll your wrist over, point towards your target. The best way to practice this is to get a bunch of pucks. You can either use regular pucks. I prefer using heavier pucks, which you can find in various stores. Um, the heavier the puck, the harder it is. and It'll really build up your stamina for shooting pucks. Some of the things to avoid when taking a wrist shot or again, getting your hands too far apart. If you're too hand, your hands are too far apart, you can't, you're bent over too much to generate the transfer of weight in your legs. The other thing that you'll see a lot of young kids do is they'll line their puck up on the toe of the blade here. It allows, it, allows you to easy, easily wrist lift the puck, but you're not going to get as much power as if you start generally in the middle of the heel of your blade, somewhere about there. This gives you a little bit more time to sweep it, and gets a little, lot more momentum about it, as opposed to doing a toe wrist shot, which is a lot less uh, powerful as opposed to the traditional, if you start with a heel and follow through, you're gonna get a lot more momentum on the puck. I'm Dustin Brown, and that's how you take a wrist shot. See you on the ice.